Gepard C Mark V is the only drone, the only freestyle drone that I'm flying these days beside my own Nord 5, which I love and I think fly the best ones of all of them. But the Mark V is a great drone and Gepard C sent me the upgrade kit. Here I have it which allows you to bring the air unit or the Vista to an O3, a DJI O3. And I was thinking about doing a video how to upgrade the drone and how to change the parts so everyone understands how to take your regular DJI Mark V into a O3 Mark V. But then I thought, I wanna give my thoughts around this of upgrading your drones because uh, you're gonna see why. I have my opinion on this. There is no doubt that the O3 is the VTX giving the best image quality today, better than Voxnail, better than HTC. But the problem is that when you go and you check the price of these VTXs, if you look at it in an American website, the O3 is costing somewhere between $230 and $250, depending where you're buying it. In a European side, it goes up to 260 euros, which is a lot more than in the uh, American market. And if you look at the price of a Vista, it's somewhere around $165 in American shops. So we're talking about a kind of a big difference. And this price difference is what's make me, every time that I'm going to take one of the O3s from this stock to upgrade my drone and, and start thinking, is it really worth it? I mean, the only big difference that we're talking about here is the video quality. And if you look, it, it is a difference, there is a difference, it looks much better, but does it change your experience enough to say, I'm going to remove this Vista from this drone. I don't know what I'm going to do with that Vista, but I'm going to put 200, 260 euros or 230 dollars more into the drone. I don't know. I, 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 I go back every time that I'm going to take that O3 from stock and, and do the change. If we go back and we think about how it was from analog to the first version of DJI, then it's a completely different story, right? Like the change was so huge. The change of experience from flying this kind of more key and a lot of noise on the screen to this clear image, sharp image was so big that it was very easy to take the decision of buying a Vista or air unit and do the change. But right now with this, I'm, I'm not so sure, at least personally, I'm not so sure. I am 100% sure that I'm going to be buying drones with O3. That's, there is no question about it. And most probably the O3 is going to become the default for drones in no time. But what I'm talking about right now is upgrading whatever you already have. The Vista, the Air Unit, they work with your goggles, even if you have uh, the new ones they still work and again the difference on the quality is not that big and if I'm right you even lose some things if you're using these goggles uh, and you upgrade everything you are losing the ability to control how much power you give to the vistas and the air unit so again I'm not in a hurry to upgrade my my units I'm in a hurry to go and fly on the drones or um, I, I would like to fly many O3 drones, but upgrading, that's, that's another thing. Then you have to think about something else. Uh, some people don't have goggles that support the O3. Like in my case, my DJI was the ver version 1 and I didn't support the O3, so, which means that actually for me to fly an O3, I, I had to buy the other goggles, which are a good investment. It's a, it's a good bunch of money. And if you are flying V1s with your Vista and you do the new hack to have all the OSD on the Vistas and Air Unit, again, you're not missing a lot if you go, if you keep there. So tell me, what are you doing? Are you upgrading your fleet from DJI Vistas to DJI O3? 
Do you agree with what I'm saying right now or you think that I'm crazy and everyone should be flying O3s every time that they can because it's the best experience possible? Leave me your comments here on the, on the video and, and let me know what you think. For now, I think I'm going to wait a little bit long. I don't know, wait for what, but I'm going to wait to upgrade my, my Mark V to O3. I'm going to be testing some other drones with O3 as soon as I get them. Um, and we will see when, when I do this change on the Mark V. Wait for that video, it's gonna come either that or upgrading my Nord 5 to O3 at some point. I will do it, but not right now. Thank you for watching. See you soon.